This bike stick video is brought to you by Dry Rider, innovative motorcycle clothing since 1980, and SC Project, advanced exhaust technology. The first time you jump on a BMW R1200GS, one of the first things you notice is that it's got an old school feel about the dashboard, even though it's electronic and it has a digital display. But the thing that more you know grabs your attention is the fact that the Speedo itself is a round analog type Speedo. Now, um, a lot of people have asked us, and we've asked the same question ourselves, how do we get this, you know, change this from an analog type speedo into a digital readout? And you can customise the digital or the LED readout on the BMW's dashboard, but the interesting thing is that's, that speed uh, reading is the same as what you see in the analog speedo. And what's interesting is when you compare that to a GPS speed, it's about 8 kilometres an hour um, re reading higher. So at, if it reads 100 kilometres an hour, you're doing about 92 kilometres an hour if you look at the GPS speedo. Now the Navigator 5 that comes with the BMW also shows speed, but it's GPS based speed. And there's a little dashboard on there that uh, a lot of people on YouTube pointed us towards that we can use to display a digital speedo that's right up there in your face and it's way more useful than what you see on the standard uh, GS dashboard. So I'll just run you through uh, the things that people taught me about how you set that up. So when you turn on the uh, motorbike, what you'll first notice on the GPS is that it's got a standard screen which is giving you the choice of where you can want to go to if you want to navigate to some place or you can view the map itself. So I can touch view the map, it brings up the map. Now, if I push the jog wheel sideways to the left, what it brings up is a screen uh, referred to as the My Motorcycle app. And on it, it's got a whole bunch of telemetry around the bike itself. But this includes things like the direction you're driving, maximum speed fuel range and bits and pieces. But along the top, the standard setting is the, the, the tire pressures, front and rear, the speed, and the engine temperature. So what you see up the top here is the speed itself, and that speed is GPS speed, not the speed of the motorcycle or the speed that the motorcycle is registering. Now, what's interesting is if I turn the jog wheel, okay, and slowly rotate it uh, towards me from the top, then all of a sudden it zooms in, and interestingly enough, it zooms in on the top four. And if I zoom in another turn, it gets in closer to the top two, uh, sorry, the top two on the left, and then one more, it goes to the far left-hand box. So you'll see it's what it's doing is zooming into the top four here. Now, all I need to do is get the speed over to this top one here, and I've got a speedo on its own. And the way to do that is quite simple. I just want to get the tyre pressure settings over to the right, and the speed and engine temperature to the left. So all I simply do is I touch the one I want, and then I scroll down until I find what it is I want to display on the screen. In this case, I want to choose speed. So I click speed, and click on save. I'm going to set this one to engine temperature, right? Click save. I'm going to turn speed into the front tire. And all I'm doing is swapping these things around. So I click front tire, click save, and then I select rear tire, which is already there, and click save. Now what I've done is I've moved the top four so that speed's on the far left. Now if I scroll down, notice it zooms into the top four, but the speed and engine temperature at the top. I scroll down one more with the jog wheel, speed and engine temperature on their own. And then the very last one is speed itself. Now that's GPS speed versus the speed that's registered by the motorbike. And what we found in riding this around is it's about an eight kilometer an hour difference. The speed that's registered on the GPS is accurate. We've tested it against police radars. And the speed on the motorbike is reading about eight kilometers an hour under. So when you're doing 100 kilometers an hour um, on the motorbike speed, this is registering about 92 kilometers an hour. So I should say this is the, the motorbike itself is registering about 188 uh, kilometers an hour faster. So we're, if, if we're just relying on the speed we see on our normal uh, GS dashboard, we're traveling about eight kilometers an hour below the speed limit, which is a pretty safe option, but the speed on the GPS is way more accurate that we found. And as I said, we've tested it through radars and have never had an issue. That's reading more effectively. So there you have it, a simple way to uh, set up a speedo in a digital form.